Maybe I should start taking stairs a little more often when I find them, because sometimes, you know, I don't. So I will focus a little more on that, just to be sure that I complete this. Because again, with monster houses and losing Reviver Seeds and losing Chispa too, not something that I want to have keep happening. I have been um, saving my plane seeds since I learned. Um, one person told me that if a Pokemon knows the move Recycle, you can use it on your plane seeds in order to get another Reviver Seed back. And I think someone else was saying that if I use it in the, like, the Wobbuffet Recycle Shop or Spinda's Recycle Shop, I don't know which it is, but you know, in Spinda's Shop. Um, I actually don't remember what you get, but you get something better than a plane seed, supposedly. So it all could be quite nice. I'll just swap for that. So yes, saving them, that's the point of that. And I will take on this Linoon with Energy Ball! Ha ha ha! Survive that, you will not. Oh good, when I see two items together I'm like, is it a monster house? But it was not, thankfully. Um, I'll just swap that again. Again, that's a good orb, but just very situational, where like, I wouldn't think to use it until I already encountered traps. And usually if I encounter a trap, I just know that there's a trap there and I avoid it. I can't think of too many situations where I'd like hit a trap or see a trap and then feel the need to destroy it. There are definitely times where traps get annoying, like uh, the ones that make you drop an item because then when I'm trying to avoid it, then all my partners step on it and drop their items, that kind of thing. But it's not to the point where I feel I need to like have something in reserve just for that. That warps a specific target elsewhere, so I think I want to swap for that. If it were like everyone in the room, or all the enemies, that could be good, but otherwise... Don't need that, I don't think. Hey, stairs! 13th floor of Shimmer Hill. Hey, look! More stairs! Please be a max, not a mix. It's a max. Okay, I will take it then. For what? Hmm... Uh, what's Rebound Orb? Um, confers mini counter status? What? What does that mean? Uh, an item that changes the user's status to mini counter, which enables the user to make physical attacks rebound, returning part of the damage. Okay, that kind of thing could have been helpful with that fight. Then again, I don't know if Rock Blast is a physical or a special. I would think physical because it's like physically hitting someone with rocks, but because it's like being thrown, I don't know. Sometimes I get a little bit confused over what counts. I'm gonna swap it for a switcher orb and just take these stairs right here to go onto the 14th floor of Shimmer Hill. And luckily for us, I will take him out because he's gonna wake up. Okay, he was gonna wake up as soon as we moved. Don't need an escape orb. I just want to hit the stairs, thank you. So here we are at the 15th floor. We know that it's at least 15 floors long, this dungeon. And the more you know, the more you know. That's right. Um, what's here? Escape orb. Again, I don't need that many. Okay. Trying very hard to avoid that. So, I think then if I need to find, like, if I find another item that I want. Hey, look, there's a key. Where's that thing? What do I do with it? I think that I need a specific Pokemon to like have this as their mission to be like, oh, let's go explore the ancient ruins of Shimmer Hill or something, and then they'll they'll unlock it themselves. I could be wrong, maybe I'm supposed to find a key somewhere or buy it, but I clearly did not do that, so we're just going to have to ignore that, I think. Oh, I was not even facing the right way. If I was supposed to do something in particular with that, you know, the door that I found, go ahead and let me know in the comments, but... Be nice, otherwise I'll just be annoyed with you. That's the thing. Look at all these Pokemon lining up to fight me. That's an interesting array. And they're just gonna keep picking up the escape orb too. Well, it would be nice if I could just keep like killing them in one hit. Wow, there were like six people waiting. Six or s I think six. Yeah. Okay, well, while you're back there, I'll just energy ball you. And same for you. I'll Mega Drain you. See, that was just a nice chunk of experience right there with everyone just walking up in that funnel to meet me. Okay. Well, we're bound to find the stairs soon. Hey, no. Die. Okay. Hound Hour is defeated. 
Though Houndour is one of my favorite Pokemons, again from that roleplay, because I had a team of dogs, so technically my... His name was Reaper, and he was a Houndoom, but still Houndour reminds me of him. For obvious reasons. At least I should hope they're obvious to you. If not, then you just haven't played second gen Pokemon games. That would be my guess. Let's see if I can help Ivy here. Die! Does it, what, rough skin? Is that what the counterattack is? I have to assume so. Okay, yeah, I will trade out the nifty box for this sticky Orenberry. Because, you know, stickies, the only way that I know to get rid of them is to find, like, those hidden staircases. And while I do find them more often than I would imagine, not often enough where I'd want to have, you know, an inventory slot taken up by something that I just couldn't use until I happened upon, like, the Lickitung thing. Ah, wrong one. I still forget what his evolved form is named. I never owned one, I don't think. Well, that's a lie, because I've completed the Pokedex in, like, you know, X and Y version. But that was mostly due to just trading. Like, I didn't raise a wiggly, <laughs> wiggly tongue, licky tongue on my own. Why did Rock Blast not do that much that time? I mean, I'm not really upset by it, but just why did it do so much in the Monster House? It was doing like 25 a hit there, and only like 8 and 9 here. That's crazy. It's like the game just wanted me to suffer during that house. Also, I just realized that I missed the stairs down there. So I'm just going to head back down. There's no need to continue on here if I don't have to. I just, I think I thought that was an item, so I kept walking, because sometimes it's hard to tell in the, just the background of the little map that the game provides. Okay. Dragonair, help me! And Ivy, please stop using that. That doesn't help anyone. Take him out, Dragonair! Oh, thankfully he at least attacked me. Okay, we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to help Dragonair soon. Come on. Okay, so I want this Ursaring down so that I can switch spots with Dragonair just to guarantee safety a little bit more, you know? Okay. I could just use an Orenberry, I'm aware of that. I just don't want to. I want to I wanna save my items while I can. And... But yeah, if this dungeon keeps going, I'm absolutely gonna have to use a Max Elixir. Okay, will you stop doing that? I'm also worried that I could have Ivy turn off her fire attacks. I don't need people to tell me every time I complain about something. Ivy goes to level 49. Yeah, did it. Leveled up. Ivy's attack went up one, special attack went up one, and that was all not the best of levels. Well, let's see. I'll just... Okay, grimy food. Grimy food. That makes sense to switch out. Thankfully, while moving, Dragonair... Well, wow, I just, this is the first time I actually checked to see what Dragonair's level was. 13. We're almost level 50. Dragonair is 13. No wonder he's in danger. And no wonder this dun er, this mission, this contract, whatever, this job, was as hard as it is, or is supposed to be. Like, it's a four-star mission, I believe? Absolutely makes sense when you consider the fact that uh, Dragonair is very prone to dying. Okay, go away. Thank you. At this point, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I will use the Max Elixir while I have a little bit of breather room. Just so I don't die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna have to start over. I think the Dragonair could die once because we should have one more Reviver Seed in our inventory, but it's certainly something I'd rather avoid, you know? We're at the end now. Aren't we? Maybe? Right when I use- I did not fight any other Pokemon after I used that Max Elixir. I'm just like, Floor 18? They wouldn't stop at the very next floor. I was thinking there were at least like two more floors. Nope, they would stop right there. Such a random floor to stop on. Thanks for taking me on an adventure. Please accept this 5,500 Poke. Rizzo's team received the team share of, yes, 550 Poke and 600 Explorer Rank Points. Good. Gosh, I completely wasted that Max Elixir, and I felt like I was using correct reasoning. It just happened to be like the- oh, that was just bad luck. We worked hard all day long. I'm tired.
We should get some sleep now. We'll need it for another full day tomorrow. Okay. Whew, so... I'm just going to assume that for a lot of those kind of mystery dungeons, ha, <laughs> mystery, I didn't even mean to do that, that I'm going to encounter, you know, the ones where it's a question mark and I only learn once I take on the job, I'm going to assume that a lot of them are about 20 floors long, so, the next morning. What I'm going to do now, is I'm going to take a little bit of time to sort my inventory out, make sure that I have the correct items and whatnot, I'm going to get Chispa back on my team, and then we're going to fulfill that other job that I have. I'll show you really quick in case you forgot. It's this one! Let's explore wild territory. There's a wild territory that needs exploring! Let's be the first to conquer it! Client Volbeat. And just explore with Volbeat. We would get 800 Explorer rank points if we were to complete it, and I feel like we can do it. We have to be careful, of course, because bad things can happen. I feel like the biggest issue is monster houses. Just have to play it safe. As soon as I see a monster house, just freeze them and get out of there. You know, pretty much, um, because they, they always surprise me. I always think I can manage this, and then they surprise me and kick my butt. So yeah, give me give me a minute. I'm gonna organize everything again, get Chispa on my team. Then we'll get started with that mission. Against my better judgment, I do want to try something here, because I just, their Keglion shop had a grass gummy, so I bought it, now I'm here. But, I also still have Grammy food, apparently. And I want to see what happens, so. I'll let, I'll let Riz take the front of it. Use Grammy food to make a drink for Riz? Yes! Let's see what happens, you know? Let's see what happens, how terrible this works out. How terribly. I don't know. I need to get up. Whoa! This is... This is... This drink is so wonderful, so amazing! <laughs> okay, the amazing miracle drink. Made from grimy food. Right now, right here, Riz is enjoying a flavor that is out of this world. Riz felt happy. Wow, wonderful! Defense went up two points! I think that was just a matter of chance, you know? That I just got lucky. But I still find it amusing that, you know, of all the things that could have happened with that, I ended up getting, like, a boosted two- it was defense, right? Two points in defense. That's awesome. Okay, I didn't actually organize my items yet, so I'll get back to you again in a minute. Well, I'm ready to go, guys. So let's go to job list, down to this one, and take the job. The job posting describes an explored spot in- er, an unexplored spot in detail. It is a place called Midnight Forest. Okay, so Ivy might be pretty good there. You can now go to Midnight Forest! Hoorah! Okay. Yeah, notice that was different from Hooray, wasn't it? So, Midnight Forest, where might you be? There you are. Alright. Let's just go. Let's see what happens, you know? Alright, Midnight Forest. It's time. Your client, Volby, joined your team! So, Midnight Forest, B1F. Alright, so Nuzzleep is bad, Volbeat is good, Volbeat is level 15, I should, should make note of that, keep track of that, make sure that she doesn't die. Sorry, he, Volbeat's a dude. I should check their gender before just making assumptions. Okay, and look at that! Riz grew to level 48! Riz's HP went up 1, attack went up 1, defense went up 1. Good, it was at least better than Ivy's, because, you know, three of my stats went up. Up, oh, can't do that, okay. I will say one of the things now, I mean, because I'm sure I've said this before, but just because it just came to mind, one of the things that I miss about being a Mudkip from Red Rescue Team is that as a Mudkip, you could walk on the water. Didn't phase you in the slightest. Uh-oh. Okay, let's, let's all, let's all take this trap now. I went, I did not go the same way. Okay, good, at least Chispa's taking care of Volbeat for me. I'm just gonna try to quickly find this- Okay, good, I found the stairs. I just don't want anyone to die. Okay, Chispa found me. Good, we found the stairs. We're all together again. Second floor of the Midnight Forest. I don't have a roll call orb anymore. Like, I used my only one. I might have had one in Kangaskhan storage, but I didn't check. Honestly, the only thing I got from it was um, I picked out two more reviver seeds. Um, aside from that, I really just put things into it to clear up more space. Found a quick seed. Could be useful. Not as, but you know. Ooh! A, wa a wander gummy? What the heck is a wander? Is it misspelled of wonder? Okay, I'm thinking it is. Yep, 
Yeah, I was right. I didn't even know Wonder Gummy was a thing, as far as I recall, just yeah. When used, this item causes the user's eyes to become gunky, and the user gets blinker status. A lookalike item for Wonder Gummy, so be careful. Okay, though I wonder, what if you used that to make a, you know, a smoothie, to make some juice? Ow! That's hardly fair! Just quickly die. Don't you dare use Silverwind again. Okay, so now we know that Ledian is a Pokemon that we need to really fear. Because it doesn't matter if I'm in front of Volbeat or any of my Pokemon or not. It can attack everyone in the room or something like that. And it's pretty powerful. Okay. Yeah, no, that's it's really frightening, actually, to know. Try to take you out really quick for the sake of experience. If we get a 51, see, that's a good amount. You see, there's a Letty in, so I'm just gonna run. It's a good thing it just used that, it just nudged instead of like actually using against Silver Wind. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! I mean, and I know people have said in the comments that they used, like, uh, I think a Masquerade someone said for Silver Wind or whatnot. Because it's powerful, because it works, especially in monster houses, it'll just attack everyone in the room or within a certain radius, I guess. And, oh, uh, seeing it used against me, I understand why it's so scary. Okay. Just looking. I'm just, like, looking hard now to try to find the stairs, because this place... With that, as soon as that happens, now I'm, I'm scared. Because, again, I used one Reviver Seed. I only think I have two, and I don't want to use that one. I really need to find Recycle at some point, just so I can teach... Some Pokemon. Oh, okay, good. Letty Bob might not have the same thing. Just so I can teach some Pokemon I've picked up, re you know, recycle, and then I could get all these Reviver Seeds back. I think I would have like four or five at this point that I could get back. And you know, if you consider that each Reviver Seed from the shop costs um, 800 Poke, that's a pretty good amount to save. Okay, we're just gonna take this now. The fifth floor of Midnight Forest. Who are you? Okay. You're fine. You're not as bad as <laughs> Ledian. And now you're dead, which makes it even better. And the stairs are here! Perfect! Sixth floor of Midnight Forest. Otherwise known as Midnight Forest B6F. Because they decide to make it weird. Okay, well I'm just not gonna step on those. I'll just keep nudging you to death. All right, let's go this way, guys. We found the stairs again. They're right past this Venomoth. I, for one, am happy about this. You know, being scared of this dungeon, it's nice to know that I could just quickly make progress, you know, at least now and then. And again, the stairs right here. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Uh, but now my curiosity is getting the better of me. I want to know what those two items are down there, you know? So that's an escape orb. Okay, Power Bandit. Those weren't worth it, in my opinion. But they could have been. I don't know, they could have been, like, two stacks of 200 Poke each, or, you know, a new held item that I'd never found before. Could have been just untold mysteries kind of thingy. But it wasn't. That's okay. Oh, she caught it. I'm like, didn't take any damage? That's cool. No, Ivy was on the ball, just, like, caught it with her mouth, I assume. Good for her. I wouldn't want to do that with a rock. And in that case, I might as well just try to finish you off with Energy Ball. It did not work. Where are you picking up all these gra Graveler Rocks, Ivy? How many do you have? I just, just gotta check, you know? Or can I not? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep moving. Because, I mean, I knew that she had one to spe- Oh, freaking, freaking Volbeat. Why? Why are you over there? Why did Volbeat wander off? Okay, Warp Seed, Volbeat, I hope it comes closer to me. Good, that moved to three spaces! That's what I wanted! Uh, uh, Volbeat. Uh. I would go toward Volbeat, you know, but from my experience, a lot of times when that happens, 
all that ends up actually happening is they move farther away. Yeah, Volbeat, Volbeat died and was revived. Okay, Volbeat fainted. Why did it wander off? Now here's my biggest issue with that. Because Volbeat decided to be an imbecile and wander off, I lost like half of my items, along with, you know, like 1600 poke worth of reviver seed. And I just, that's just so stupid. That's just so stupid. Oh my gosh, I hate it. And honestly, I would, I would just reset my game. Or not the whole game, obviously, but you know, reset, reload my save file, um, to before the mission. But I don't remember whether I saved after that, uh, like, Shimmer Hill mission that I did. I don't remember. Yep. Okay, based upon the hope that I had saved after the Shimmer Hill mission, I decided to restart because, you know, yell at me if you want. You shouldn't because I'll get annoyed again. With you in particular, and you don't want that. Um, but that was just, again, stupid circumstances. I didn't really think it was all my fault. So, I even used a warp seat to try to get her out of that, or him, Bulby, whatever, out of that situation, and it just happened to move him like three squares away in the same direction. Um, so again, you could say that, why didn't you move toward Volbeat? Well, in the past when I've done that, they just move farther away from me. So I was hoping instead to just find the stairs, move through to regroup quickly. So let's see my job list. Good. Okay. Good news! We did save after Shimmer Hill. Because we only have this one now, so... At some point, we could try to take on that stupid Volbeat mission again, and just, I'll pay better attention to make sure that, you know, if Volbeat does start wandering off, I'll just see it right away, instead of when I saw it when it was too late. But, for now, I'm tired, so we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!